Hi everybody, welcome to my Minecraft Beta 1.9 pre-release 3 video. This is a tutorial on how to decode the enchantment table enchantment language. Enchantment? Enchantment! <laughs> anyway, I did a video yesterday on the enchantment table. And as you can see here, when you go to enchant an item, you get this rather interesting language here made up of these runes. And sadly, I cannot read those, and I don't imagine too many people can. This is in a language called the Standard Galactic Alphabet, and it was developed for a game called Commander Keen. Anyway, there is a way to decipher this manually with a website, and you'll have to map each of these characters to real letters. But um, I have received a video response from a fan, and let me bring this up right now so I can give credit where credit is due. And his or her name is Aerotechionics. And I'm just going to call him ATX for short. And he sent a video response. I watched the video. It shows how to decode or how to set up your Minecraft.jar to automatically decode that, uh, that funky language. And I'm going to do that right now, and I'll show you how to do it. So thank you, ATX, for that. I really appreciate it. And let's go ahead and do that right now. So first things first, what we need to do is get out of Minecraft because we have to modify the jar file. So... Make sure that it's closed down, and you'll actually have to shut Minecraft off completely. So let's shut that down. Actually, I take that back. Um, there's an easy way to get to the Minecraft.jar, and in order to do that, click on Mods and Texture Packs in the main menu of Minecraft. And right here, this button, Open Texture Pack Folder, click on that, and that'll bring you to the folder where your your texture packs are stored and if you navigate up one level to Minecraft you'll see all these folders and we are interested in the bin folder now keep in mind this is only going to work for the pre-release 3 and that's the one that has the enchantment table um, otherwise there's really no point in doing this exercise so now let's go back now that I have this folder open in Windows I can go back and shut Minecraft off now you are going to need some kind of WinZip program or a zipping program like WinZip, WinRAR, or 7-Zip. 7-Zip is free. Do a Google on it. Install it. It's very simple. And what you what you need to do now, once you have that installed, I actually have a tutorial on that, so check my channel out. Um, Right-click on the Minecraft.jar file. Yours may not say .jar. It'll just it may just say Minecraft, and then over here it'll say executable jar file. Um, right click on that choose your zipping program I have 7-zip again and open archive now with that archive open you want to look for this font folder so double click on the font folder open it up you'll see these two PNG graphics files now this default is the one um, that has our default language in it and the alternate has the SGA that standard galactic alphabet what we want to do is highlight both of these and just drag and drop them right out. And I'm going to dump them over here for now. It doesn't really matter where they go, just remember where they are. So let's open them up and take a quick peek. Whoa. Okay, that's a full screen thing here. Let me get it into my recorder. And as you can see, this is the font that holds all of the alphabet, which is the standard alphabet, and the al alternate alphabet. And oh boy, I should have resized these earlier, but anyway. As you can see, the alternate contains the uh, standard galactic alphabet. So all we need to do here is replace the alternate with the default and then rename it. So what we're going to do now is copy, well, let's rename this one to alternate one. And then we're going to copy and paste default. So right click on default, copy, right click anywhere in here and paste it. So now we have a copy of the default. And then we're going to rename default. So right click, rename, and rename it to alternate. So we're going to trick the jar file into thinking this alternate, which is actually a default, is the alternate. Get it? Anyway, so just follow the instructions and you should be okay. So now we're going to go in here back to our 7-zip file, which has our Minecraft.jar file open. And we can delete this alternate. Are you sure? Yeah. And then copy in the alternate, which is really the default. 
drag and drop it in. That's it. So now both of these are the same file, which is the one that has our default language in it. So go ahead and close that now. Close all this down. And I'm going to restart Minecraft. Let me just resize this little guy here and put it over here. Get it in my little Camtasia window. Looks good. Let's log in. Go to my tutorial world. Walk up to the enchantment table. Drop in a tool. And there you go. Cold, element cold. This is all in English. Spirit inside wet. And as you can see, works perfectly fine. Converts all of the fonts for us. Voila. So there you have it. Good luck. Try not to toss your sword at your enchantment table. By the way, I did hit this once. It takes one shot and destroys it immediately. One hit and you're done. So be careful with your sword around your enchantment table. I'm going to quit that out. I'm going to say thank you one more time to ATX. Um, I'm going to go ahead and and approve this video response and put a link in my just in in my video so you guys can go watch that one too so I give this uh, this pal of mine here full credit for this video anyway take care folks we'll see you next time hope you enjoyed this if so give me a like um, comment and subscribe if you're not subscribed already all right take care bye bye